Okay, okay, we're about to wash the fireplace, or the chimney, I guess you wouldn't call this a fireplace. Anyway, it's behind the wood stove. And uh, we laid it up, and when we uh, cut the stone, it's always washed, uh, 3,400 pound per square inch uh, pressure washer. But anyway, there's a certain amount of dirt that gets on it when we, uh, when we lay the stone, it's bound to happen. Anyway, uh, we just use ordinary Mr. Clean and, and Pine Sol. Either one, it's okay. That's all I use. Now, you probably heard about using muriatic acid uh, on masonry. Well, they do use it a bit. We don't, of course, because uh, what happens with muriatic acid if you happen to use it, especially outside. It keeps working long after you're done. And what it will do over the period of time, we'll say maybe, oh, 15 years or so on the outside and the southeast exposure, one thing or another, it will eat the mortar out of the joints. So you don't want to use it. I mean, uh, it takes a lot of time to wire it, to eat it out, but it does it over the period of time. So you have to be very, very, very careful with muriatic acid. As a matter of fact, when I first got started in the masonry many years ago, I guess I was about 18 or so, that was one of my first jobs, is washing brickwork. And uh, we used muriatic acid, and we diluted it about half, uh, half a bucket of water, with, I don't know, a couple of cupfuls of uh, muriatic acid, and we would wash the stone and all that. And all the time we were washing it, we had a uh, water hose running on it. Uh, keep washing it off. But uh, anyway, it, it, it eats in one thing or another. And we wore rubber gloves, of course, and we had them folded back down and one thing or another. And uh, that stuff would get off, and it actually eat holes into your hand. So it was very, very dangerous. Anyway, so basically I never use it. And the trick to that is just keep your stone clean when you're laying the stone. That's all there is to it. This stuff here washes up very cleanly. And if I do get a little bit of mortar on it, which occasionally happens, Take a lot of rush to clean her off. And uh, I can see a little bit right there that I'll take off. There's a little bit right there. You can see that right there. Let's see if we can take that off with a wire brush. Yeah, it's coming off. So that's basically all there is to it. You just need a wire brush and so on. Now, I must tell you, this here is real stone veneer. This is not the artificial stone. So don't be confused with it. The artificial stone is uh, basically nothing more than painted cement. And if you take a wire brush to it, you're going to tear the paint rate off and expose the cement. And the same thing with muriatic acid, I suppose, you're going to do it to expose uh, the cement as well, because the stone is nothing more than cement. But anyway, this here is real stone, so you can go at it with a wild brush or do whatever you want. And, uh, and the trick of, uh, of installing it is just to keep it clean when you're going. If you get a, have an accident and one thing or another and get a lot of mortar on it, then just take the stone off and wash it, put it back on. And that's the way we do it. And a little bit of mortar is okay on the stone, you know. Uh, there's some people, when I do a stone job, you know, I go to clean it, oh, no, 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 that's okay. They, they want a little bit on it to, to prove that it is real stone because there's so many lookalikes out there today, it's amazing. Anyway, I hope this video was uh, 
hope this was a help to you. And uh, see you in the next video.